hey, are you there? Are you ready for another midnight mission? Tonight's midnight mission is going to be super stealthy. It's going to be in a pretty cool location. I think you're going to like this one. Um, yeah, we try, to, we try to mix it up a little bit. Make it a little bit different every time. Uh, yeah, so this one, yeah, we definitely need stealth for. And you're going to see why. All right, so here we go. I'll just let you have a quick little look, uh, see what we got here tonight. Um, well, today, but we're getting ready for tonight's mission. Uh, so yeah, there's my pillow slash uh, uh, liner for my sleeping bag. There is the pad. Of course, we have the platform. And as you can see, it goes right into the trunk. That's where my feet go. And over here, we have my sleeping bag, which is good to minus eight. Uh, tonight should be, I think, no more than minus four, something like that. Uh, the other sleeping bag, of course, is just to go around my feet. It always uh, is good to keep uh, the feet extra extra warm. I don't think I'll need it, but I got it here just in case. Uh, so, yeah, and of course, so as always, uh, I'll have my uh, uh, window covers. Those are Reflectix with a, a black material uh, for the outside. So they're super stealthy. And also they insulate uh, the car. I don't know as if we need it that much anymore because the warmer weather, but we do need it for the super stealthiness. Yeah, so let's do it. See you soon. location it's a Friday night it's coming on uh, 1030 and yeah uh, right now I'm just walking I'm about two blocks away but I think I'll make a stop along the way uh, get some snacks maybe hmm I don't know maybe get a coffee but do I really want to stay up all night probably not so yeah, get some snacks for the morning and uh, we should be good to go. Yeah, ba da ba do. Wow, look at those prices. Gas prices are going up. I think it was like $1.50 last time I looked. This, uh, this location is in the downtown core. Right now I'm on uh, Richmond Street and I'm heading west uh, uh, over towards uh, Sherburn. Uh, so I'm going to get my snacks and I'm going to head back, uh, do a loop around, back around to our location. All right. So yeah, I got my donut and I got my coffee. So if you haven't guessed by now, uh, either from the title of this video or the fact that I'm eating the donut, we're going to be uh, stealth camping at a... Uh, in front of a police station so uh, I parked the car already there I have the my window coverings on so the back of the car is cut co is is covered uh, uh, and it's stealth mode the one thing I got to do what I have to make sure is that I get into the car very stealthily uh, undetected and uh, yeah the rest is easy just stay in there uh, don't make any uh, noises uh, too many noises the way that I parked uh, the back of the car 
is kind of facing where their front desk is so uh, they shouldn't see any light coming from the car and even from the front because I have a I have a curtain that goes across the front a black curtain uh, so there shouldn't be too much light coming from the front anyways uh, but for the most part you know I, I won't have the lights on all that much anyways maybe for a little bit uh, while I get my uh, sleeping bag sorted and uh, after that lights out that's it that's all we do we're just coming around now and the police station is at the at the light here I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see the police station we'll do a little walk around and then I'll go to my car over there just to the left of the screen now the center uh, you can see my car and it's sitting out in front of the police station all right so we're gonna do a walk around and we can see the, the whole police station oh and there's a police car he's coming out from the police station all right so yeah this is the police station right there is the front desk and yeah And over here, we're getting closer to the back part of the older part of the building. And then you'll be able to see uh, the extension, the newer part of the building. But yeah, this building was completely gutted. It was uh, right down to the bones, bare bones. And then they redid it. So that's why it cost 20 million, even in the, you know, 20 something years ago. This is the back of Toronto Police Services 51 Division. Now I'm not sure how I want to do this. Do I want to just uh, jump right into the back seat or do I want to, uh, you know, sit in the front seat and then just uh, hop into the back? Um, huh. Well, I'll figure that one out when I get there. I'll just uh, use my best judgment. As I, as, as I approach and see, uh, you know, who's looking, etc. But I think going in the front and then just kind of crawling in the back might be the best way. You know what? I'll keep the camera on just till I get to the corner of this building here. And, but you can see my car parked there. It's uh, all by itself, so that's uh, another reason why I want to, uh, uh, you know, kind of go inconspicuously without having the phone out. All right, so yeah, I'm actually in the car now. I'm in the front seat. And uh, yeah, we're outside of Toronto Police 51 Division. As you can see, I've got my blackout uh, curtain in the back here. And uh, there's the street. This is the main street. It's Parliament Street. Parliament Street between Front and King Street. All right. So I'm just gonna sit here for a minute or two, just make sure everything's kosher, and then I will jump in the back. So yeah, I'm in the back of the car now. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty blacked out in here, all around. This is the back part of the car. The front part of the car uh, has no window covering, so it just looks like a, a car, nothing unusual. It just looks like maybe the car has uh, tinted windows in the back, um, yeah. So yeah, we're under cover of the night. I've already seen quite a bit of activity with the police out. Uh, a couple of police cars came out uh, uh, out of the police station. And then the streetcar at the corner at uh, Parliament and King was ringing its bell, I guess, to notify the, the police of something going on. So the cop got out of the car and uh, went over to the, the streetcar. But I guess once they started walking over, whatever was uh, going on there, uh, subsided and uh, they went on their way. But yeah, we'll see what else happens tonight. Maybe nothing, maybe something, we'll see. And uh, yeah, but I, I'll have to keep the lights down low. Keep the lights down low. Yeah, um, just to uh, keep it stealthy. And uh, yeah, I have my sleeping bag here. It's my uh, bright yellow cocoon and uh, 
Yeah, I'm settled in. So yeah, tonight's supposed to be uh, a low of minus four. So I'm actually quite hot in here. I have a fleece and a down jacket on. So I'm gonna take off uh, at least the down jacket, uh, if not the uh, the fleece as well. Uh, Cause yeah, my sleeping bag's good for minus eight. So it's, yeah, it'll probably be a bit toasty in here. Um, yeah, but it'll be, it'll, yeah, it'll be comfortable. It'll be comfortable. Mm, so I don't know, am I safe? <laughs> am I safe here? I don't know, by a police station. Hmm, uh, it can go either way, it all depends. If they get suspicious of a, 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 a black vehicle with black tinted windows, uh, sitting out in front of the police station all by itself. There's no other cars on this street, actually. There was another guy parked here earlier, but uh, he left. Actually, when I saw him, I asked him, I said, uh, is it okay to park here? Uh, uh, the signs say that it is, but uh, I do know that in Toronto, there's the unwritten rule of uh, three hour parking. Um, so I could still get a ticket, but I wouldn't get towed necessarily. Uh, although, I have to be up before seven because there's no parking from, oh wait, no I don't. Because that's from Monday to Friday. Today is Friday, so tomorrow morning, I don't have to get up at seven. But anyways, uh, I'll get up before then anyways. I usually get up about, uh, if I'm if I'm uh, out in the car, uh, you know, no later than 6.30, seven o'clock the latest. Um, so it kind of feels like I'm doing a stakeout at a police station. Uh, so yeah, who's the watcher watching the watcher or, uh, something like that. Yeah. Um, so yo, we'll see what kind of activity goes on here in the late hours of the night on a midnight mission. All right. I wiped away some of the, uh, condensation on the window and we can see the, uh, police car coming out of the, uh, garage hopefully he's not coming from me so yeah this is a pretty good spot to get a nice vantage point to uh, see the cars coming out of the garage and uh, maybe we'll see some uh, sirens going later on tonight so yeah the view from the back is not all that great with the condensation on the windows however that means also that it's the view's not so great looking inside either so uh it's all blacked out here in the back um but it'll make it even harder to make out uh, that it's black curtains and not just black because this car is tinted or something like that car is going by it's a pretty busy street it's a main street parliament street uh so yeah But I'm a heavy sleeper, so you know, once I once I uh, go to sleep, uh, cars going by won't uh, really wake me up too much. Um, only if maybe some sirens go off or something like this, or if I get a knock on the window, of course, that too. Uh, but other than that, should be a pretty restful night. So I'm just pulling back the uh, the blackout uh, on the back window here, and we'll get rid of some of that condensation. And you can see there's the front lobby of the uh, police station. I won't keep this open too long. Let's see. There we go. Someone was just walking by. Watching the watchers. And there's uh, cameras mounted up on the wall. And I think there's one over there near the uh, front desk as well. All right, it's just about midnight. Uh, I think that means it's just about time to uh, snuggle in and uh, catch some Z's. Uh, yeah, so hopefully I don't get a knock on the window and, uh, 
We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Yeah. So, it's 5.50 in the morning. It's um, Saturday morning. Um, yeah, we're here at uh, the police station St on the stakeout midnight mission. Yeah. So, uh, didn't get any knocks on the door. Uh, didn't hear any sirens. Um, but, uh, and the traffic's kind of died down. Um, not too many cars going by at the moment. Although that's probably what woke me up. Maybe. Nah. I think it's just uh, Mother Nature starting to call, uh, you know, one of those things. So, I'm going to just take a look around here. So, yeah, a little bit of frost on the windows. It was getting down to like minus eight. Let's just take a look on the other side over here. Oh, there's some police cars coming out. Look. Are they coming for us? No, no, they're going the other way. Oh, there's another one. Let's see if we can see out the side panel here. Again, that's the front desk over there. Let's see if I can zoom in. Right. See if we can see anybody in there. Oh, yeah, there's somebody down there. Some people at the front desk there. Some cops walking around. Oh, oh, oh. Close it up, maybe. You don't want to get detected. Gonna try and stay super stealthy until uh, it's time to go. It's uh, 6.13 in the morning. Just gonna take a peek out on the other side. Yeah. Not a ton of traffic. But yeah, there's some cars going by. Oh, actually traffic's picking up a bit now. Eh? 6.13 in the morning, people probably maybe going to work or, you know, Getting around, getting around town. Uh, sunrise is at about 6.50 today. We'll just stake out for a little bit longer. Oh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll climb over into the front seat. I'll start up the car, warm it up a bit, just so the condensation goes away because I, I won't be able to drive away without that condensation going away anyway. So I'll warm it up and then we'll do a little walk around and then I'll come back and stealthily drive away. Oh, here comes another police car out of the uh, garage. Going up Parliament Street. It's hard to see though. Windows are all fogged up. Yeah, maybe when I start up the car, 
and we defog the windows, we can uh, get a better look. All right, so it's 6.30. Starting to get a little bit lighter out. There's the bus going by. So I think it's almost time to jump up in the front and get this baby warmed up. All right, so yeah, we have uh, some cold coffee left. We have our donut for breakfast. And uh, yeah, there's the Gatorade. We won't be drinking that. That is uh, a refill, if you want to call it that. And uh, there's my shoes and gloves. So when I jump up in the front, uh, I can just slap on my shoes. We'll start up the car and get ready to roll. All right, so let's do this. Yeah, I don't see anybody around at the moment. So I'm gonna jump up into the front. Good thing I'm still flexible. Fog, and I'll take the window coverings down. Um, at least the one on the back, because uh, I think it's illegal to uh, drive with your back window um, covered. Maybe not in a cargo van or whatever, because they have bigger windows. But in a car, I believe if you have the back window. Uh, covered, uh, obstructed, uh, you could get pulled over or get a ticket. Um, yeah. So, six, what's it say? 640. Is it 643 already? Nah. Yeah, I think about 643. Okay. Just gonna wait for those windows to defog. I'm gonna have to turn on the air. A lot of cars going by, it's pretty busy. Got the bus, big transport truck just went by. Um, but yeah, still super stealthy. Uh, nobody's uh, really paying attention to me over here. You know, just a little Honda Civic on the street. Um, So yeah, we'll just take the curtains down. There we go. It's, it was nice and cozy back there with the uh, reflectance on the windows. It, uh, it definitely takes it down a, a couple of degrees. Um, and the sleeping bag's good to minus eight by itself, uh, you know. I didn't even have to put the other sleeping bag around my feet, uh, so it's it's fairly warm. Let me see what the temperature says here. Oh, look at that! It's only like zero degrees now, so it's it's warmed up a bit already. Um, all right. So yeah, we'll just wait for the windows to defog a little, but I will take the one off the I will take the reflectix off the back, so I'll just reach back there and do that. There we go. So you can see out the back now. And you, you notice on the back with the reflectance on the windows, we don't get as much uh, condensation. Uh, so that's good in the morning time uh, to get out quicker. Uh, you don't have to wait for the windows to defog as much. So maybe what I'll do is put one in the front as well which will make it easier to get uh, get going right away in the morning. 
because uh, with the condensation on the windows, uh, you can't really see anything, you can't drive away quickly. Uh, so that'll be a benefit of putting it on the front. I'll, I'll test it out one day and we'll see. Not my breakfast of choice necessarily, but since we're here, hmm, on the stakeout, we're gonna have uh, a little bit of leftover coffee. So the windows are almost uh, defrosted. Looks like we have some action. But this is the uh, fire department. The fire department is actually just up the street on Parliament. Uh, well, on Dundas. Dundas Street. Just, uh, just straight up Parliament here. So a few, a few lights away. That one is, uh, I believe, that may be one of the busiest uh, fire stations in, in Canada. Now, don't quote me on that. As usual, I say, don't quote me on that. Yeah. So really light out the windows are defogged I've just been watching uh, you know a lot of cars coming out of the the garage there so it must be a shift change so yeah uh, it's, it's just about almost seven o'clock right now we don't have to worry about uh, street parking because on the weekends uh, there's no restriction uh, but during the week uh, yeah at seven o'clock, you better move your car, otherwise you probably get towed. Um, so, we're gonna do a little walk around and then we'll come back to the car and uh, pull away stealthily. All right. All right, follow me. We're getting out. Trying to go stealthily out of here as we go our little walk around the, the police station. All right, let's go. Yeah. All right, all right. Okay, so let's take a look around, shall we? All right, there's the front of the police station. Pretty cool. There you are. So we're just gonna walk around, take a look. Right. And there was that door, that's where the uh, police cars uh, come from. So that's the lower garage. And then above that, there's more parking available uh, for the police officers, I guess. This is a little side street. I was thinking of parking over here, but hey, there was spot, um, spots available in the front. So why not get the front row seat? You see behind me, there's the trinity church trinity house and then there was the the school and that was the first free school in toronto uh, oh 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 here we go somebody's got a statement here glory what's that say glory to ukraine stop putin 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 Let's see what it says on this side. No war in Ukraine. Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep it peaceful, man. Let's keep it peaceful. So. Oh, white cargo van. Maybe somebody's sleeping in there. Who knows? There's the back side. Uh, 
go take a look here. So yeah, that's the building. Look at it. It's pretty cool, eh? It's a uh, We'll see it from the front. It's it's yeah, it's very Gotham City looking, I would say. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Yeah. And that's the police station. So yeah, it's the old building and then the back and the sides have the new areas, uh, parking, DMZ, all of this good stuff. Pretty sweet. And that's uh, the stealth camper over there. So once the light changes, I'm gonna head back to the car and we can uh, get away stealthily, all right? Sure we buckle up we don't want to break any laws in front of a police station eh? oh yeah need a bit of heat and let's go are you ready all right so we're just on parliament you know what i'm gonna go up to uh i'll go up to dundas and i'll show you guys the uh fire station just do a little quick loop around here there it is so yeah so we had a nice uh, midnight mission Another successful midnight mission and uh, I'm glad you could join me on this one um, so stay tuned we have more great uh, midnight missions in store and uh, we also have all kinds of other videos uh, on the way <laughs> 